Sergey is a news reporter living somewhere in Russia. He and his wife Diana have been trying to have a child for the past two years, but haven't been successful. At the beginning of the movie, Sergey is with a therapist, telling her about his problems. He says that he wants a baby so much that he has begun to dream about pacifiers and strollers. The therapist asks him if he has done the one thing that is necessary to get his wife pregnant. Sergey proudly claims that they have intercourse every night, but his wife never seems to get pregnant. Sergey even wrote his wish down on paper and ate it one time, but that didn't work either. The therapist tells him that his thoughts will become reality very soon, so he should be careful. Sergey doesn't understand what she means, but he doesn't question her. On his way to work, he calls his friend and lawyer, Zora. Zora has consecutively lost eight of his previous cases and is struggling because of financial difficulties. He has two daughters and is trying for a son again. After talking to him, Sergey gets to the set and presents a show with his co-host. Somewhere else, Diana is at an art exhibition where all the pictures she has taken recently are being displayed. Sergey is late, as usual. When called, he claims that he is already inside the car and will be there in only five minutes. But, after the call, his car is towed away for being parked in a restricted zone. Knowing that his wife will find out about the lie, he ditches the exhibition and instead goes to a bar with Zora. As they talk about children, Zora mentions that his wife is one month pregnant. They are hopeful that it will be a boy this time because Zora wore felt boots while making love. Their family has a superstitious belief that every time a man makes love in those shoes, the woman gives birth to a boy. That is how Zoro, his father, and his grandfather were born. The next day is Valentine's Day. Sergey and Diana go to the place they first met five years ago. They promise to come to the place with their children someday. Before returning home, Sergey goes to buy felt boots. At night, after having intercourse, he takes the shoes off and hugs them, hoping to soon be blessed with a child. When he cannot fall asleep, he walks up to the window and prays. Seconds later, he sees a falling star. Ten days after the incident, Sergei is in the studio, presenting a program about a chicken named Sonia. Sonia is a miracle animal and the rebirth of Paul the octopus. She can predict the winners of football matches by laying eggs. The number of eggs she lays is considered the number of goals the winning team will score. While reporting the news, Sergei suddenly pukes. He apologizes and gets back to work, unaware of the real reason for his morning sickness. Later, he is at the grocery store, buying things for dinner, when the pickle shelf catches his attention. He has never liked sour things in his life, but for some reason he craves pickles, more than anything, that day. On the phone, Zora jokes about him being pregnant, but Sergei remembers his wish and thinks it might be a possibility. That night, he finds Diana's pregnancy kit in the cupboard and decides to test his theory. At first, he sees the two red lines on the kit and thinks it means he isn't pregnant, but after reading the instructions, he figures out that two lines mean he might have a baby inside of him. He takes the test a few more times, but the results come back positive every single time. The idea is so absurd to him that at one point he starts laughing at the positive test. Hey, you're the one that peed on the stick, Sergey. The next morning, he has pickles for breakfast. Diana notices his weird behavior and inquires what is wrong. When Sergey tells her they are about to have a baby, she thinks he cheated on her. But on finding out that he is the one who is pregnant, she gets even more upset, thinking that he has gone insane. Sergey wants her to be happy about being a father, but Diana needs some time to take it all in. That evening, Sergey's parents and Zora's family come to their house for dinner. Sergey takes the opportunity to officially announce his pregnancy. The family is left speechless at the announcement. They calmly try to explain that him bearing a child is impossible. Sergey storms out without saying anything, leaving everyone else in an awkward silence. His father blames his mother for doing pregnancy yoga, which he thinks messed with Sergey's anatomy and made him a woman on the inside. The next morning, Sergey reads a book on pregnancy and identifies his symptoms. He keeps the negativity aside and starts to prepare for the child's arrival. On calculating the due date, he is happy to find his child will be a Leo. Starting that day, Sergey stops smoking and eats pickles with every meal. He even listens to children's bedtime stories so the baby can hear them too. With time, Diana comes to terms with the pregnancy and supports him as best she can. 
Four months into the pregnancy, Sergei now has a protruded belly. He goes to pregnancy classes every day, but pretends to be there to better understand his wife. The mothers do not question his belly and think that he is just trying to get the authentic experience. While all his close ones know about the pregnancy, he has chosen to hide it from the rest of the world. In the fifth month, Sergei and Diana go to a gynecologist for the first time. However, as soon as the doctor sees that the husband is the one who is pregnant, he refuses to treat him. In a similar way, the couple visits many doctors, but none of them accept him as a patient. Then, one day, they come across Dr. Tikhonov, who has been in the business for two months, but hasn't gotten a single patient. Because he is desperate, he agrees to treat Sergei. The doctor asks him to get on a delivery bed, but a stupid Sergei cannot figure out what goes on the leg holder. Because of his unique condition, he has to be on all fours for the checkup. The following day at work, Sergei finds out that Zora has allowed the show to broadcast about his pregnancy. As the word gets out, everyone is intrigued by the man who got pregnant. It becomes an international sensation, much to Sergei's annoyance because he wanted to keep it a secret. People in the streets and the boss now recognize him as the man who got knocked up. They treat him like an outcast, which doesn't help Sergei's mental health. He confronts Zora about selling him out for money, but the man shows no regret. Instead, he claims that he has more ideas that will make both of them millionaires. At first, Sergei curses him out, claiming that he won't sell his pregnancy. But when he calms down, the money doesn't sound so bad to him. Starting that day, he goes to several TV programs and shows as the pregnant guy. He is also made the sponsor of several maternity products. His popularity grows immensely in just a few weeks. He is surrounded by paparazzi everywhere he goes, and even his family members are interviewed by many reporters. One day, he is at a restaurant when a gay couple approaches him. They too want to know the way a man can have a child. Sergei has no clue how he got pregnant, but he still advises them to wear a pair of felt boots during intercourse and do it in a green room. In the next gynecologist appointment, the couple finds out that they are having a boy. Outside, the reporters surround Sergei again. He gets so caught up in their questions that he doesn't notice Diana being left behind. Ever since he got famous, he hasn't been the loving husband that he used to be. Following that, Sergei gets a show of his own, where he provides maternity advice to women. Zora makes a lot of money profiting from the show. However, the more Sergei works, the more he ignores his wife and her needs. For one of the episodes, Sergei brings his family to a restaurant and asks them all to talk about his pregnancy. Diana lashes out at the cameraman and storms off, having had enough of the show. After the incident, all of his family members leave, and Sergei is left alone for the first time. He realizes that he has let fame get to his head, but before he can fix his problems, a group of religious protesters protests against him. When Sergei starts getting a lot of hate, an opposing broadcasting company sues his show for fraud. They claim that his pregnancy is just a publicity stunt organized to make money. In the first hearing, Zora can barely put his case forward, while the prosecutor impresses everyone with her thorough research. She shows the judge a file of Sergei's personal bank account that has all the information about the profits he has made from his pregnancy. At home, Diana asks him to stop all the games and live a normal life as they did before the pregnancy, but an agitated Sergei yells at her. In the second hearing, Zora brings Sergei in front of the judge and shows his belly to everyone present there. He even presents the ultrasound results as evidence. To prove him wrong, the prosecutor brings Sergei's gynecologist to court. According to her, since Sergei is the doctor's first patient, the doctor is not experienced enough for such a complicated case. Instead, she shows the judge research from much more experienced doctors who claim that male pregnancy is impossible. Clearly, those doctors have never heard of felt boots. By the end of the hearing, Sergei seems to be losing the case. One day, after an interview, Sergei returns home to see that Diana has left him. He panics and realizes how badly he has been treating her recently. The only way for him to gain her trust back is by giving up the show. Hence, in the next and the last hearing, he doesn't go to court. Zora panics but still gives a heartfelt speech about Sergei being a great mother. Everyone in the court claps for his excellent words. But just then, the judge receives a video sent by Sergei. Zora doesn't think much of it and allows it to play. To his utter surprise, in the video, Sergei claims that he lied about the pregnancy and is sorry to everyone he hurt in the process. 
He also asks for forgiveness from Diana, who has always supported him. After hearing him confess, the judge declares him guilty and charges him a fine of 1 million rubles. Everyone who believed in him, including all his fans, are disappointed. Sergei meets Diana at their favorite place and apologizes for being a bad husband and using his pregnancy as a tool. The two kiss, when suddenly, Sergei's water breaks, he is rushed to the hospital where the doctors successfully perform a c-section on him. After the birth, Sergei tells his family that he has chosen love over money. They are proud of him for being brave. Diana brings their baby and hands him to Sergei for the first time. Three years after the birth, Diana is in one of her exhibitions that showcase the pictures she took of Sergei during his pregnancy. Their son has grown taller and is playing with Zora's daughters. A few months later, Diana prays to have a set of twins. Her wish comes true, making her and Sergei pregnant at the same time.